Hello, thank you to the Monero Village organizers and the Monero community for inviting us to be part of this amazing conference and the opportunity to show you what we are doing at Locha Mesh. We are going to show you a demo of the Locha Mesh, which is a community-driven open source software and hardware project. It started two years ago with the idea of making a decentralized censorship resistant network for payments and communication without internet. For disaster hit countries and privacy concern individuals and groups who would like to keep their privacy and their communications and payments as private as possible. Well, mesh networks has existed for decades now, but we focus our efforts on making one that doesn't rely on mm, seed nodes or bootstrap nodes or servers nor intermediaries at all. Each Locha mesh node is independent and can keep enough information for it to be able to uh, deliver messages through path and hops to its destination messages and data without internet at all. Well, uh, Luis, who is the CTO, will show you a demo of a Monero transaction that is going to take place from a completely off the grid computer that is only connected to the Locha Mesh network to a remote Monero node. Uh, Luis. Um, good afternoon and welcome everyone. Um, I would like to start by thanking all, uh, all the Monero community and especially to those who supported us through Monero CCS proposals. I'm Randy Postalkin, I'm Luis, the CTO and co-founder of Blockchain. And I would like to show you a demo running the Monero graphical user interface and the Monero demo in the same network, in this case, in the in the Locha Mesh network. As you can see in the picture, uh, here is the environment. On the right side, um, you can see uh, the server with two network interfaces. One is connected to the internet and the other to Lochamers. The Monero Diamond is running in on this server. The network interface for the Lochamers is this one. And on the left side is my laptop, represented as N1, using the launchpad. The launchpad is this red bar, as you can see in the webcam, and this red bar is the network interface for the Locha Mess uh, using this address. Between them, we have a node whose network address we don't know, but we don't care either because it's, it just helps to fit the path between my laptop and the server. Uh, shut off the other microphone. You have two of them, I think. Or, or or is it? It is down, right? I don't know if it's. What? No, check the other microphone in case it is in the other computer. I don't know if it's working or not. The it's noisy. Microphone. Noisy. No, uh, it, it's 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 closer the microphone in the other computer. Okay. Okay. Continue. Yeah. Sorry. Someone uh, repeated that. Okay, um, well, um, between, between the laptop and the Monero, uh, there, are, there, there is a, a, a node, so we can start um, in the, with, the, with the terminals. On the right window, I have an open terminal to the server running the Monero server, and I have configured the network interface for the LHMS. We can check.
sleep interface interface is this one and in the left side I need to check okay it's it's correct okay before execute the manual GUI or the Monero graphical user interface, we must make sure we have the configuration file ready with the server address. This is the Monero con file. Okay. This is the address of the Monero server and this is the port. So we can start the good. Need to check the ways. What it is synchronizing, this can take a while. And it's ready. So the next step is uh, Randy, can you send me some Monero, please? Sure. So now that you have your wallet synchronized over the Lodge Mesh to a remote Monero D, he can now create an address that uh, to get payments without having to to have any connection to the internet. He is only connected to the Locha Mesh uh, through the Turkle device. In this case, he is using a launchpad, which is uh, for development. And um, but you can see one of the revisions of the hardware we are doing there also in the in the web in the webcam. So. Uh, he is now going to share with me a uh, Monero address to get payment. Uh -huh. So what we're uh, exactly copy and share. Uh, what we are going to see now is that I, I myself who are connected to the internet, I'm going to broadcast a transaction to the receiving address uh, Luis has shared with me. And the Monero daemon, which Luis is running on a server connected to the internet and also to the Lodge Mesh, will uh, we'll see the transaction that I'm making on the internet. I'm going to set this to a good number so you can see it. Okay, send. Now my transaction is being sent over the internet. It's done. Enter password. Okay, sent. Now, what is going to happen is that the Monero D running on the daemon that Luis has connected to both the internet and the Locha Mesh, which is a peer-to-peer -peer mesh network, is going to see this transaction on the uh, Monero mempool and it knows that this transaction belongs to this user who is connected to the Monero D over the Locha Mesh only. So now when the transaction has been broadcasted uh, to the internet and the Monero D running on the server see it, uh, it's going to uh, populate this um, or share this information with the user um, transactions, yeah, it's sent. Let's see. So, 
well, you can see there. That yeah, the, he, here he's running. Oh, he's there. There you can see in the background of the user interface that the in the terminal, you can see that the interface is communicating with the Monero D over the Lodge Mesh only. And now it has received the incoming transaction to its wallet. Uh, and this information he has received it over the Lodge Mesh. The Lodge Mesh is a mesh peer-to-peer -peer decentralized um, mesh network that only uh, needs another node uh, in range. So it needs to be in range in order to be able to be part of the same mesh. And when there are going to exist more mesh and um, isolated in cities or uh, distributed in different countries, what we will have is bridges or long uh, range distant radio that will connect one mesh with another over the internet as a bridge or gateway, or also with long uh, range radio. So we're going to connect cities with each other and we'll have this mesh networks, not isolated anymore in each city, but connected, interconnected to make a huge network of devices that are capable of delivering messages, data, and information like in this case, um, all over the world. So once everything is running inside the mesh and you won't need to go uh, to the internet anymore because miners will be inside the Lodge Mesh, servers will be running on inside the Lodge Mesh and Monero uh, remote nodes will also be there, wallets, everything will run there. You won't need to use the internet anymore. What is the advantage of this? Is that as you can see, you can have a developer launchpad that you can build yourself in your house and you won't need to be identified or KYC by anyone in order to be able to use the Lodge Mesh. So we are making a custom hardware and it is, this is important for us because, um, the, well, this custom hardware that you can see there on the revision hardware that we have is the Terpial and it's made out of pieces and components that you can buy online today. So you could make your do yourself version of it with off the shelf parts too. So if you do this and you do it in your house and you build it yourself, you won't need to identify yourself your, or share your ID or scan your face with any service provider, ISPs or, or government in order to be able to communicate and uh, make use of applications um, in this Lodge Mesh network. So it is important for us to make the hardware, the custom hardware, because that enables us to make, um, to develop the firmware from scratch in order to make them open source. So in order to be able to, to make it public available for everyone to use so that you can build your own or buy the ones that we are going to sell, uh, instead of using already existing equipment for radio communications, um, which currently uh, most of them, uh, or if not all of them, depend on closed source tools for flashing and proprietary firmware. So the Trupial devices communicate with each other over radio in the ISM unlicensed bands, uh, 915, uh, 915 megahertz and 868 megahertz. And the routing protocol that we are building is based on AODV version two, and we have full IPv6 support. So any application software server, which currently is capable of working with IPv6 uh, address in the IPv uh, in the IP protocol, uh, can run on the Lodge Mesh without any extra work. So Luis is going to show you, for example, uh, SSH uh, access, web servers, Monero block sync. Not only the wallet itself is going to be um, is going to work inside the Lodge Mesh, messaging apps, uh, remote nodes. Uh, you will be able to access uh, your computer uh, over the Lodge Mesh without having to use the internet. So you won't expose your house IP address. You won't expose your phone IP address, which is connected to your identity. You will be able to use the Lodge Mesh to do all this. So now Lux is going to show you how uh, you can run a web server in a computer and access this website from another computer over the Lodge Mesh completely off the grid without having to use the internet at all. 
Are you basic? Uh, server. Yes. Yes. So I... And I need to launch the browser. Here, here is the browser. Um, here is the, the the address of the server and the port. Okay. Okay. That is. So this is an example of how you can run a web server in a computer or browser. Uh, uh, a server or a Raspberry Pi in your house, and you can access to that service or that computer over SSH, web, uh, HTTP, and you can synchronize your wallet, you can synchronize your um, your full node, even over the Locha Mesh, in a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized mesh network that is private and information can, and information transmitted, the data transmitted can be encrypted because we are using the unlicensed ISM uh, bands, which uh, allows you to um, encrypt the information that you are sending. So it's also private. That's why it is so important for us that the Monero community has decided, um, in individual has decided to support us through the CCS, uh, CCS uh, um, support um, crowdfunding method that they had. And we understand that the Monero community is a privacy focused community, and we are also too. So we are not only enabling people to use Bitcoin and Monero without internet, we are also letting people um, continue being uh, in contact with their loved ones during uh, disaster hit countries, for example, or censorship, um, internet shutdown and blockades or um, infrastructure failures. So this is more a uh, project, uh, a community-driven project, uh, which is open source. And we uh, invite you all in the community of makers, hackers, and everyone who likes this, um, the, the pri privacy and um, the freedom of using your money to join us uh, in our GitHub, which is github.com uh slash btc being slash locha and and we invite you to join us in the in la lucha por la locha libre which is the fight for the freedom money so in this uh demo we wanted to show you what we are working on as said you can build the do-it-yourself version of the devices yourself but we also are going to sell um the Turpil devices, which is a battery-based uh, mobile hotspot that is going to give you access over Wi-Fi. You, you, it, it is a hotspot which has a Wi-Fi AP um, access point that you can access with up to four uh, mobile phones. And you can also connect it to a server, like in this example, uh, through a USB cable. So in, in a range uh, if you have enough density and there are enough devices around you, you will be able to chat and make payments and sync your full node over the Locha Mesh. Um, what we are also working on is on the radio model itself. So the radio model that is going to be um, uh, welded in the Turpil devices is going to be available in other formats so you can use uh, Raspberry Pi hat, for example, and add it to a Raspberry Pi so it go, is going to be able to communicate over the Lodge Mesh with others in order to offer services, for example, a web server or a wallet, sync or a ser or an Electron server or a Monero, a remote Monero D um, that others can use. And you will be able to get paid for that. So you will be able to get paid uh, using Monero, using RPC Pay, uh, the IP RPC Pay feature or Bitcoin or the Lightning Network, and you're going to get um, payments 
for the services you are providing to others inside the Locha Mesh as a way to incentivize you for running these services inside the Locha Mesh. So you will be able to build the devices yourself. You will be able to buy the radio models that we're going to build, or you can buy the more consumer ready uh, for newbies device, which is the Turpil device. And uh, so you can have all your family, relatives and, and friends have a tool build device that they can carry around with them uh, in order to for them to be able to chat with you or use the services you are providing to them and uh, from your house on your uh, Locha Mesh enabled computer. So this is uh, what we want to show you. We want to show you and this is what we've been working on for the past two years. And thanks to uh, other communities like the Monero community itself, we've been able to do this uh, mostly on donations and um, grants that we have received. But we also have a company, uh, that, which is the hardware company, that we want to make uh, devices uh, in order to sell them for the common users that are not going to build them, but they are going to buy them in order to be a node inside the mesh and be able to provide relays uh, relay messages for other and maybe get uh, payment for doing for providing that service too. So we, if you are interested on in supporting us, you can make a donation or you can join us on GitHub and help us test the devices, the dev kit devices that we expect to have uh, pretty soon. Or you can pre-order the tour device that we expect to have uh, ready for delivery. Uh, for the uh, for shipment early 2021. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, everyone. Luis. Thank you very much, to everyone. Okay. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the rest of the DEFCOM. Hope you enjoy all the, the all this weekend, which has been very interesting and exciting. And hope to see you again. If you have any question, you can reach out to us at locha.io, L-O-C-H-A dot I-O. And you can find us on Twitter and also on GitHub, as I said previously. On Twitter, we are locha um, underscore I-O. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for uh, attending. Thank you.